So Tesla China announced competition to design Cyber Quad battery pack. The design must utilize the 2170 battery cells and teams submitting their ideas won't go at it alone. Tesla's R&D technology experts will be able to provide full technological guidance. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. With hopefully about one year to go until the Cybertruck officially launches in North America, Tesla China has announced a new design competition for the Cybertruck's highly anticipated accessory, the Cyberquad. This competition is asking for teams to design the battery packs uh, that could eventually be used in the final uh, product. Announced on the automaker's official Weibo account in China, the competition is dubbed the 2022 World Power Battery Conference Power Battery Integration and Management Technology Challenge. Okay, so the post explains the design must utilize the uh, 2170 battery cell and teams submitting their ideas won't go it at alone. Tesla R&D technology experts will be available to provide fully technological guidance. And, uh, additionally, numerous automotive and uh, power cell industry veterans will also provide feedback on the ideas. Teams will have until July 25 to submit their designs with as much as RMB 200,000, which is about 30,000 US dollars up for grabs in prize money. There is also the priceless prize of possibly having your design in the Cyberquad. I think that would be great, right? Now, keep in mind, Tesla is calling for submissions, not just from student teams, but any innovation and research teams can submit their design for the Cyberquad battery pack. The competition, like I said, will end in July. Now, what can we make of this, friends? While Tesla obviously doesn't outright say it, it does insinuate that the best design could need up in the electric ATV. It looks like Tesla is literally crowdsourcing R&D for the Cyberquad, uh, but uh, electric things, it's more about recruiting than anything else. Tesla can use this opportunity to recruit talent for Cybertruck and for its engineering and so on. However, it does show that Tesla might be looking to develop the Cyberquad in China, which would be surprising since Elon Musk recently said that it would be produced at Giga Texas along with Cybertruck. I'm just saying that this is a possibility. As of November 2019, Tesla Cybertruck uh, uh, production was scheduled to start in late 2021 and expand to offer more configurations in 2022. By 22 July 2020, Tesla had chosen Austin, Texas for the production of the Cybertruck Model Y and Semi. This is why we don't know where this battery will be produced. Now, Giga Texas Factory will reportedly uh, actually produce these cars, and it has already opened it, and uh, Model Y is being produced at Giga Factory, Texas. On August 9, 2021, the production of Cybertruck was delayed to 2022, according to Tesla's website. In January 2022, production was further delayed in early 2023. In January 2022, this year, all mentions of a 2022 production of the Cybertruck date on Tesla website were removed. Not 2022 anymore. However, Giga Texas now in production. This may still be pushed a little bit early. In the United States, the total addressable market for full-size pickup trucks is over 2 million vehicles per year. It has been argued that the Cybertruck will be able to take advantage of the Tesla network of shared vehicles to generate an income stream if the latter, uh, if the latter uh, were to become available in the United States worldwide. So now, what do you think about all these things, friends? Do you think uh, that Tesla is calling for these submissions to make the Cyberquad battery pack uh, a reality or just use this opportunity to recruit people for Tesla? I mean, if they find the talent and Tesla is always in need of 
people and talent, especially in Giga Berlin, they're hiring actively and they need more people in order to produce more model wise. This is why it's one of the reasons Giga Berlin production is not picking up because they need to hire up to 8,000 or so people. So what do you think about all of this? Let me know your thoughts, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a blessed day and I'll see you soon in our next report.